We got a Costco haul, honey. It's a big one, too. I did not know these mushrooms were gonna be this freaking big. Are you kidding me? Can I freeze these? I hope so, because that's what I'm gonna do. Definitely needed this. All necessities, tissue, napkins, uh, milk. I needed some avocado oil. So I got two of those. This big old thing of onions, y'all, that are already chopped. I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Um, what else? Got some provolone cheese. Some plates. Some dishwasher real quick. And then, oh my god, I didn't know it was that big. Tomato paste, oh my goodness, no. Got some salmon wild caught. And some cauliflower. Look at what I got. Are y'all ready for this? We are about to make some vodka pasta. Yes, somebody, um, one of my yummy biters in my comment section um, has been asking me to make a vodka pasta. And I didn't know if I could make a keto or not, but I definitely can. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm excited. Um, I'm going to start off with some olive oil. in this pan because we are about to saute some onions and garlic not that much thank god i had y'all i had purchased a big old bag of already chopped onions from costco this came in handy honey I think I need some more because everybody that I've seen do this recipe, they cut up a bunch of freaking onions. So. So that's how many onions I'm using. Honestly, let's see how many this is. That's a half a cup. It's about a cup, a cup and a half of chopped onion. Cup and a half. And my protein is gonna be some nice fatty salmon. Yeah, I'm gonna take that uh, that keto strip test. I'm gonna take that um, today. Sometime today, y'all. I don't know when. Or maybe tonight. I don't know. And we're going to put some minced garlic up in here. I would say around two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. It could be chopped garlic if you wanted to. And we're just going to cook this down a little bit. All right, y'all. Next, you're going to use a can of tomato paste. This is a 12 ounce can. And you're going to fry this tomato paste, y'all, so you'll get that. Uh, 
don't know what you call it, but you have to fry it. You do the same thing in Louisiana cooking. Um, turn this heat down a little bit. So we're gonna combine all of this and fry that tomato paste. Until like that tomatoey. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. But anyway, you just you fry it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So just cook it for like 15 minutes or something like that. Make sure you're not burn it. So keep moving it around. I love how non-stick this pan is, y'all. It nothing sticks to it. I love that. So I'll be back to show y'all what it looks like after I'm done frying it. Y'all, so the purpose of frying a tomato paste, and you fry tomato sauce too, but the purpose of frying tomato paste is to get that can taste out of it so that's what Marisha just told me but that's the reason for doing it so now we're going to instead of adding vodka y'all because i don't have any vodka um i'm gonna add lemon juice so i saw somebody do this on their recipe so i'm gonna add the juice of two lemons that are about to go old but I'm catching them in time, honey. And these are those same lemons that are, um, uh, don't have any um, seeds. But look how good they juice. And when they get old, they juice good. good. Wow. Dang, am I gonna need two? I should make me some lemonade today. These juicy lemons. All right, get that incorporated. heat down so if I start burning stuff. Okay, let me see what's next. All right, y'all. One cup of heavy cream. That's all the heavy cream I got.
So you stir this around and it should turn into like a orange looking sauce. I wonder if I could add sour cream to this if I didn't have enough cream. Or some milk. All right, y'all, then we're gonna add some crushed red pepper. However much you want, cause this is gonna be the spicy kind. Spicy uh, vodka pasta. So that's how much I wanna add. Yeah, I need to loosen this up some. Um, hmm. I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon. So basically, I'm gonna add some chicken, um, some chicken, Loosen that bad boy up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's too thick. Some chicken stock, y'all. You could just add chicken stock, but I had to uh, make mine because I didn't have any. So I think that, that this is gonna work. Yes, ma'am, this is gonna work. Loosening up that sauce. And I'm not gonna lose no flavor because I just added a little bit of flavor. All right, and then to this, we're gonna add some seasonings, just a couple seasonings, like some, um, honestly, you can add whatever seasons you want, but I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Garlic powder. and some Italian seasoning. The rest of my Italian seasoning. Ooh, ooh, baby girl, wait, where's my top? Mm -mm, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing the pop goes the weasel. Girl, where is my beautiful tops that I got that go with my pots, baby? Yes. Finally, your girl got tops to go with my pots. Uh, where are they? I found it. Yep, that's it. Let me turn this down. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, but I think I need to add some more water to mine. I need more water. That much more. <laughs> Swirl that around. I need to taste it. That's what I need to do. even add seasoning to hers. Hmm. Y'all make sure you add seasoning. I just realized that the, <laughs> when I was watching her video, 
she didn't add any seasoning. I should have just added some chicken bouillon. That's what I should have added. Let me taste it with the Tony's. Much better, my God. Y'all, please add seasoning to your food. This lady literally didn't add no seasoning. Mmm. I wanna add some chicken bouillon, just a little bit, cause I don't want over season it. I swear, that chicken bouillon be kicking it up. Make sure you're boiling your noodles, okay? I don't have to boil mine because mine are already done. I'm gonna be using these hearts of palm spaghetti noodles. So basically, I'm just gonna pour my spaghetti noodles in a bowl and put some sauce on top of them and then plate it. And then put my uh, air fried, cause I'm gonna air fry my salmon. I'm gonna put my air fried salmon <laughs> excuse me, on top and just eat it like that. And I think I'm gonna have a side of uh, cauliflower. So now I gotta taste it again. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's, oh. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Oh no, that's my lawyer, hold on y'all. All right y'all, so next we're gonna put like, she put a bunch of butter in hers. Um, like a half a stick of butter. It could be salted butter, cause that's what mine is. Um, and then she went to her garden and got a bunch of basil, <laughs> fresh basil and put it in her pasta. Now I don't know what this butter is supposed to do, but she put that in there and um, the basil. I don't have any fresh basil, but what I do ski have is some basil that ain't fresh. <laughs> hey, where is it though? Girl, where is my basil? Like, that's one of the biggest things that we have in here is a big thing of basil. And why I can't find it, I don't know. Is this it? Nope. Y'all, where is the freaking basil? Golly. Is this it way back here? Is this basil? Yes, ma'am, it is. Oh, this is a good basil. So put you some basil in there. Put you some basil in there, honey. As much as you want. So let that um, butter melt. And throw your basil up in there. Just like that. Just keep tasting your sauce and season however you want to, for it to taste however you want it to taste. That must be Lele. Baby, can you chill for one second? Maybe just one second, you can chill. This is going to be spectacular. Now she shredded some parm in hers. I don't have no shredded parm, but I do have that good old ooh, Parmigiano Reggiano, okay? And all she did was take it and she shredded hers in there, but that's about how much she put in there. She put her pasta in there and stirred it all up and served it. So I'm not gonna be doing that step just yet, but I am putting my, cheese in there. I may put some more cheese in there um, before I plate it. But this is the sauce, y'all. This is it. And now 
now I'm about to put my um, cauliflower on. I'm just gonna do some steamed cauliflower. Ain't gonna be nothing too much. Make sure you taste it again. Oh my God. Mmm. That is delicious. This is like restaurant quality, y'all. Mmm. Anyway. So I'm just gonna put my top over here, just like so. Y'all, I just changed my mind. I'm gonna do some salad. I want a side salad with my pasta and my salmon. Yes, that's what we're doing. All right, y'all. I have to hurry up and go get ready. Time is flying. So I put some extra virgin olive oil all over this. You can use avocado oil. I just got me some today. Um, y'all already know. This ain't what I want to use. Ah, where is my seasoning that I love? So here you go. Yeah, y'all. This uh, fajita season is what I want to use, girl. Um, fajita stays on rojo. It's my favorite. I'm gonna put her on there. And I only season one side of my salmon. The other side has a uh, um uh skin on it. Smoked paprika. I already know. Now I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. Not now though, actually. After I get dressed, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put it in there now, tie in. And what you can do is put some uh, slits in. I could just do it with my scissors, honestly. Put you some slits in there so we can you know, cook even faster. So that's it, y'all. I'm about to go get dressed. Oh, I made a salad. Okay. Cucumbers, those cucumbers I had left over from yesterday that I had put in that foil. Chopped those up. Chopped up a couple tomatoes and some uh, lettuce. All right, y'all. So we have a couple things going on right now. Okay. We have the salmon in the air fryer. And we have the sauce warming up. I'm about to open up the noodles. And I'm gonna put them on this plate right here so I can mix the sauce up with the noodles and then I'm gonna plate it and put my uh, salmon on top. I already have my uh, salad ready. I put, what did I put on there? I put this raspberry uh, champagne vinaigrette on my salad. So we're just gonna take this out of here, drain it because it has this liquid in there. All right, y'all, I'm about to make my drink real quick. matches my dress yes girl um it looks like we're gonna have the wicked blue citrus again today i was gonna make myself some lemonade should i do that that's what i do while my salmon is still cooking because these lemons are so juicy. Um, why do you want the one? I'm probably gonna need like, let me see, I'm gonna use this one for my salmon. Is it juicy? 
Seeds, y'all. I know it's GMO, but girl, I love that. <laughs> These are super juicy. I guess you gotta wait till they get old to uh, get the most juice out of them. Mm. Mm. gonna put some monk fruit sugar up in here for sweetness freaking flying y'all like <sighs> y'all been ugly all day outside like hardly no sun at all Then I'm gonna cut a couple slices so my drink can look pretty. How about that? I'm just gonna throw them in there just like that and squeeze the rest. Here, this lemonade about to be a bomb stick. Okay. Oh, let me check on my pasta, girl. I just want to warm you up, girl. We don't need you doing the most over here. Okay, that's cool. Okay, what else, y'all? What else? What else we gotta do? We need water. Water with lemonade. Hello. Grab my monk fruit sugar, y'all. This here monk fruit is, um, I honestly don't know how to explain this one because they have one that looks like granulated sugar, like you know what I'm saying, regular sugar. And this is like the powder kind that I get from Amazon. It's like twenty, I think it was like twenty five dollars, something like that. But all you need is a tiny bit to make anything sweet, just a little bit. Like so. Uh oh, it's stuck. Let me get in here and loosen it up, girl. Now loosen her up. Hopefully that did the trick. Oh, there we go, I did. Really, I don't even need that much. You just need a little bit to sweeten up your drink. Whatever you're trying to sweeten.
Okay, let me see. Oh, we need some more sweetener. <laughs> we definitely need some more sweetener, girl. There we go. Usually you only need a tiny, tiny bit. Come on now, girl, I need you to dissolve now. There's little pieces of it, y'all, at the top of my drink. Please do not start with me. Lemon is strong like a mug. Yeah. Oh, that's all I need, girl. That's it. Let me check on my salmon. Oh, she looks like she's doing good. I think she's ready. I think she is ready. All right. So now we are about. To put our sauce on top. this yeah I wish I could do it fancy like <laughs> the chefs be doing but it's all good I'm gonna take a little bit more of that slice and put it on swap and then we're gonna take some of this Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiana, and put her on top, just like that. I mean, I guess I don't need the skin because the skin wants to stay on the bag on uh, foil. Okay, let's see if we 
to get you on here. Oh man, it broke. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, do we want some more sauce on top of that? Um, Sammy, I think we do. Howling where my fork is. Girl, we couldn't even see the oh pasta girl. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm ready to eat for real. Oh, we made we have some homemade vodka pasta with some air fried salmon on top. Doesn't that look amazing with some lemon on the side we have a beautiful salad and a fresh squeezed lemonade yummy freaking delicious who want a yummy bite 